Hey guys, Landon here. I uh, haven't been feeling too well the last couple of days. Uh, it's not the coronavirus, but I just had the flu. But anyway, I came out here to try to work on something on the car because I got some parts in the mail and I had left the keys on in the ignition and the battery was dead. So I borrowed the pick me up truck here. Let's see. I'll get it in a minute. I borrowed the pickup truck to charge my battery so that I could continue to work on uh, the wiring on the Buick. So here's my rinky dink battery charging setup off of the Tacoma. And over here, what I was going to work on today is this right here two sensors. This is the old one out of the car. Uh, this is the uh, torque converter lockup sensor back here. Also helps control the uh, cruise control. And this is one from uh, PSI, Performance Systems Integration. I hear the kit number for this if anybody wants to put this in their engine swap is KIT0 or 1002 and it has a little diagram here showing what everything goes to and how to wire it up. But I tried wiring this one in and no matter what I did the ECU was reading a fault code from it. So I ordered this one. This is the original plug for my car actually fits perfectly on the switch so I'm going to go ahead and pull this out repin it and stick the original wires back in but then this uh, goes to the TCC brake switch and this goes to a keyed hot ignition source and then I leave this plug the same as it was in the car which is just the hot wire so this when you push on the when you're when your car is just standing there without use with the foot on the brake, this thing right here is pushed in, uh, which means that your tail lights are off. When you, when you push on your brake pedal, this pops forward and turns your brake lights on. So what the TCC switch is looking for is the exact opposite of your brake signal. It wants to know when you're not standing on the brakes so that the torque converter can do its thing cruise control it knows uh, whether it can be on or off on or not so that's what that guy does should be a simple wiring I'll get to it a little later once my battery is charged okay guys hopefully I got the battery charged up enough to get the car to start uh, unfortunately I uh, I didn't let it charge all the way but if it'll start and run it can charge itself a little more, but I'm going to set you guys on the bench and see if it'll start. Door real quick, guys. Hang on one second. Shut 
should have done that before I started it. But, all right guys, so it did start, which means I have enough voltage to play with that uh, TCC switch. So that's gonna be this guy right here. I'm still in my pajamas, sorry about that. But uh, old TC switch, new TC switch, I need to start by fixing the wiring, putting this plug back in the car. We'll see if the, the zoom will catch up on this guy, that guy right there. All right guys, so here's the inside of the car. I've got the laptop set up on the HP tuners over here. My OBD2 port's sitting right there. These are the old uh, dash connections for the small block. But right here uh, is the wire we're after today. This is the one, sorry, it's kind of dark, let me adjust. This is the wire we're after. Uh, you can see where I cut the old wire out right there, and that's what we're going to change today. So we're going to go ahead, cut this back out, and put the other wires back on. Okay guys, so I've set up a little spot here on my workbench, or cleaned off a bunch of my stuff so that we could work right here. First thing I'm going to do is take off this connector that I stuck on here. Voila, there we go, got it off. It only took me a second. All right, this wiring harness here comes with the kit. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove it and set it off to the side for now. Just for my reference, the purple wire was closest to the back. Okay. So I ended up cutting this out of the car not knowing that I was ever going to put it back in, but it fits that connector really well. And so I'm gonna go ahead and deep in this and try to just see if I can't uh, put a better splice on here or just put a new wire on it. All right, there's that. These are going to be ready to crimp back on. Um, retrospect, actually, I'm going to have to pull one of these back off, crimp it, and then put it back in. Because I won't have enough room to do that with this plugged into the car. Popped it back out. All right, so back down here in the car, you can see I've got the connectors right here. I'm just gonna snip them right here. I'll snip the orange first, as close as we can to this connector, because we wanna make sure we have room. And I'll get the white. All right. Now, I'm gonna kinda pull on these, get a little extra room. I'm gonna crimp right here, and right here. These are really handy, make everything so much easier wiring wise. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead Slide the connector down, clicked in, there you go. That's all put back on. So in order for me to test this, I've got the new switch right here. The back half was for uh, the TC suite, TCC switch. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect this and see if my tail lights are on and Right now with the button out, all of my tail lights should be on, so let's go take a look at that. There we go. Both the left and right side tail lights are on. So that's good. 
So if I reach down here, have you guys aimed out there? You can kind of see the glow turn off when I press the button. That's what we want. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that switch put up in its housing just above the brake pedal there, and I'll show you guys that as soon as I'm done. Okay guys, it's kind of a struggle to get that little sensor in there, but I went ahead and I connected the two prong connector in the back of that switch. Now mine came with the purple wire being closest to me from the so from the back of the connector, the purple is closest to me. So that's going to go to my TCC, TCC brake switch, which I think is a purple wire in the car as well. And this red wire is going to get, go to 12 volt keyed hot uh, uh, power source. So I'm just going to, for testing purposes, um, twist the wires to those points and make sure that the engine code that I'm getting goes away. So we'll check on that in just a second. Alrighty guys, I gotta make this quick because I'm running out of battery. But I hooked all that up temporarily. And we came over here and I scanned, I ran the vehicle, cleared the codes, uh, scanned it again. And those are the only codes we're coming up with. The fan one and two, I have the relays ordered and they're gonna be here soon. Uh, the malfunction indicator lamp light for the actual inside of the vehicle is on its way as well. I don't know about the engine RPM output circuit just yet. The traction control output, not sure on that one. And uh, the deliver torque circuit, I still have to look up as well. If any of you guys know anything about those bottom three or bottom two, let me know, and uh, I'll just be doing my own research in the meantime. Thanks, guys. See you later. Bye.